Hello, um, I'm Joshua Thompson and I'm going to present to you my Diva music um, pitch for the magazine article. So, uh, what are the pub publishing objectives? Um, obviously, in terms of target audience, age demographic, we're looking at uh, 18 to 25 years of age. I know that's like a big, kind of um, big gap, but for the uh, like music genre that I'm, I'm going to talk about later, um, it's like, it would probably be perfect. Oh, and actually, yeah, in terms of the music genre, it'll be mainly focused on rap. So, at first, I thought what target audience I want, which was obviously aged 18 to 25, and then I went from there with the music genre, etc. Uh, so, in terms of like famous songs, obviously just rap, but there's going to be like a small edition of like really famous songs that everybody kind of knows. Anyway, which is Sweet Caroline Wonderwall and Sweet, um, like Sweet Home um, Alabama. Um, Obviously, it's going to be print based, and obviously we'll come out to the, uh, we'll come out to a shop on a fortnightly basis. Uh, I will explain more about that a little bit later on. Um, as well as print based, I'm going to be looking at online magazines as well because obviously the, te the technology world is expanding, and obviously more people are starting to read magazines online and so on. And obviously the magazine will be like reader friendly, so no swear words, no bad words, uh, no words that would harm, offend, or make people lash out. So in terms of the concept of it, the magazine will literally have only one goal uh, for the age demographic, which is just passion. Um, and the brand value will be passion committed in the heart and mind. Um, obviously with this uh, brand value slash motto, I want it to be powerful and meaningful um, towards the audience when they pick it up and hopefully buy it. Uh, the uh, reason I chose, I actually chose that was because it's the most common music genre to listen to, especially within like the century and year we're in now. Um, I want it, as I said, I want it to be positive, powerful, and meaning, but I want, I want the audience to like hear some like maybe hard hitting stuff, um, so they can, so it shows that they can like uh, overcome anything which I can relate to. So, magazine name, as you saw on the very first slide, it's Diva Music. Here is the name of the magazine. Um, obviously, Diva, it links with Chester and the, the area where my targets will be and, the mag uh, and where the uh, magazine will um, come out. Uh, and obviously, Love Chester was the. Um, Love Chester obviously approached me uh, to create a magazine, so those two, those two are just Diva and Ch Love Chester are a strong link straight away. Uh, font for the magazine, uh, oh, you can't see it right now, but it's on the next couple of slides later or so. Uh, it's an eroded effect, uh, obviously because Chester, is, it's a Roman uh, city, um, so to have an eroded effect like title, it would obviously suit the area that it's in, and obviously there's eroded in bricks, etc, etc. Uh, and obviously the front of the style is readable, so that is on the back. Uh, so the first issue, or essentially uh, when my first ever magazine will come out, uh, it will be focused on information and wording, um, because I know that putting images will give a vi visualised effect, but at the same time, for my first ever magazine, I want I want it to come straight to the point and just get the information out as soon as possible. Um, and obviously, I want my audience members to be educationally read as well as like a just a thing entertainment point of view. Uh, as I said before, how music, musicians have struggled in the past. So like, and maybe like Ed Sheeran, Tykov started like really struggled and obviously made his way to best sellers and sort. Uh, and obviously, apply my brand in my first issue. I feel like that will be like a really good start. Obviously, that will be a good point. It will sort of show like what I want uh, from obviously the company and what I want the audience to hear from the get go. Uh, and as I said, not as much images, which is unlike all other magazines. I just wanted it to be a bit, maybe a bit unique. Um, but yeah. So potential sources of advertising, so obviously sponsors for my magazine. Uh, I've decided to go with no major, no major like uh, advertisement brands, um, because a I don't think it will really sponsor a local magazine, and I don't think I'll have the budget to put it on. Uh, so then I would have to go down to the other end of the scale and look at smaller companies slash adverts uh, and it will hopefully it will work it will be a win-win situation for me and it will be a win-win situation for them because they'll get noticed and hopefully will become a bigger brand so I'm helping them as well as they're helping me 
uh, and obviously in terms of the online magazine advertisements as well but just will be links to click on to. Um, so the article concepts, what the article is going to look like. Um, it's a double page spread inside, uh, that's what Love Trust has asked for, I've you know, responded to that and that's what I have to do and that's what I'm going to do. Um, most information within my magazine obviously will be on the double page spread but again there'll be, there'll be some on the title as well and maybe some on the back. Um, so what's, what, what can you find in, in my magazine basically? Uh, well first of all, obviously to have like a mini calendar on like the bottom right hand side of the spread. Um, again, it's to be unique, I don't, I don't think any other uh, brand uh, magazine would do it. Reason I've done that, because I want people to be able to like find what musicians that are going to be appearing in Chester over the course of July, August, maybe even June type. Um, so I want them to be able to get straight to the point and see where it is instead of wasting 10 minutes. Uh, have a landscape, um, so have a horizontal or landscape picture across the top of the double page spread, so right across it um, to show this is what Chester has come here for the music and all sorts. Uh, in addition to this, so to have like statistics of our, our artists, so where they're from, background, how they got into music, etc. And like, just like in general, like number one albums, uh, number one singles, how long they've been on the top, of, top charts for. So the preparation for our potential issue, uh, obviously keep changing, keep changing the information and pictures in my magazine. So as I said uh, at the kind of at the start, um, it's going to come out on a fortnight basis. Um, reason, um, so obviously I want the, I want so after every fortnight, I want the readers to pick up a new kind of concept on the magazine and go, this is amazing. This is what I want to read every uh, you know. Uh, Again, online version will just change, uh, it'll just change as an update, for example, uh, Mail Online, it just changes, obviously I know there'll be behind the scenes of it, but for a viewer just to actually flick up, changes instantly. Uh, yeah. So, the considering my competitors, obviously a USP unique selling point, everyone has one of them. Um, relationship between my USP and primary audience is strong. Uh, what I want to put in is maybe, uh, kind of, maybe, like uh, half price on buying tickets for the um, for uh, the concert on that night, or to win a competition if you do etc. etc. You can have tickets for free. Uh, the type of content that is in my magazine is going to be completely different. Obviously, it's rap. I know there's a lot of rap magazines out there, but I'm trying to make my rap magazine completely different. Uh, and obviously, double page spread. I know I said at the start I want more wording. But when I when I talked to my peers, they kind of said actually add a few images in, it will engage the audience more. So I've taken on that, and that's what I've done. Uh, as I said, information is going to be important, fun, but yet hard hitting. So as I said at the very start, age demographic eighteen to twenty five year olds, uh, mainly listen to that. With my secondary audience age, I've gone to twenty five to twenty eight because I feel like they, they're still gonna to listen to rap, um, and I feel like they would. I was gonna go for lower, but with like the rap artists using like swear words and stuff, I just, I don't want them to like copy or imitate them during a school week, college week, or you know, at home with their parents. Uh, in terms of the NRS social grade, it will be C2 and D. Uh, so social grade D is working class, social st status, so class workers, electric, so obviously relating to the uh, area with the uh, target audience, 18 to 25 part-time jobs, maybe 18, you know, still in that part-time jobs, uh, applying off uni debt, so it would fit the social grade there. Uh, and obviously, I've kind of gone with a bit higher, so class social status, so maybe someone who is in a permanent part, a permanent job, or, you know, is in apprenticeship, who, you know, is available. Uh, and obviously the psychographic categories are Aspire, Succeeder, and obviously the Explorer. Audience assumptions. Um, again, with, so with the online version, it, many magazines are now trying to get onto it online. Uh, so I feel like most of my audience, so it's 60, 70, maybe 80% will go for an online version of my magazine. So e.g. laptops, iPads, smartphones, tablets, it's all gonna be available for that. Um, Obviously, how am I going to advertise that? Well, first point of call is social media. So Instagram, Twitter, 
you, maybe not YouTube, but LinkedIn because it's a business, and maybe Snapchat stories if that's there. Uh, I feel like that would be great because there are millions of people who are literally on Instagram, Twitter, social media channels for at least two to three hours a day. Uh, and it can literally be advertised by retweeting, posting on their story, sharing it with friends, even Facebook would have it there as well. Uh, and you'll get my audience engaged and involved with helping of advertising even music. And I want them to pay them back by actually going and having a bit of fun. So distribution and obviously the marketing, uh, how I'm going to kind of do it. So obviously with an online website, our official news mobile app for the online version. Um, hopefully I can maybe negotiate with people to say, look, can I just put this page on for this amount of time, etc, etc. Uh, as I said, people use their phone a lot, so it'll be a good choice. Um, as well, maybe YouTube would be a good place to maybe put a small advert out uh, on, so in between a video there might be an ad just to say, chest it. Um, so resources and the positive personnel requirements, sorry. Um, I will need numerous people to help me with the design and release of my magazine. So jobs such as photo photographer, social media manager, uh, designer of the magazine, and marketing expert. I feel like the market marketing aspects will be the biggest one because I want I want to get my magazine out before anyone else. Uh, I know that other uh, other people have been reached out by this, so I want to be at the top while everyone is still figuring out how I did it. Uh, and designer of the magazine will possibly be me because obviously Love Chester reached out to me. So as I said before, uh, I've got the fonts, here are the fonts. So obviously the font I'm going to use is this one which is eroded, as I said, because Chester and Diva are mixed together. The other ones I thought were actually okay, but when it came to finalising, trying to find a final logo to put on for several I thought eventually that one would be the best. Um, reasons why I didn't think the other three would be the best. That one was a bit too plain. I didn't think it would really stand out or suit it well. Uh, this one, it's it's interesting to say the least, but obviously with the E, you might find it hard to find what actually uh, find what letter it actually extinguished to be. And obviously with some of the uh, with some of the letters being cut out, it looks like if it just hasn't been printed properly, which would be unprofessional. And obviously with this bottom left one here, it it just doesn't, it wouldn't really suit. It looks a bit maybe uh, like a, I don't know, like a, it's, it's a bit like artistic. So obviously the magazine wireframes. Um, so obviously we've got the map, we've got the front cover page with the masthead. Uh, I've found, I'm gonna probably put a quote by like maybe Stormzy or something, just to maybe attract it straight away. Uh, I've said for this to be like a page of Stormzy because he is like a famous rapper and most people like would know him. But again, maybe when it comes to actually maybe trying to actually create, when creating this, I might change it up a bit here and there. Uh, obviously the price of the magazine is one pound. Um, I did before I did before I did this, I did send out a survey to a whole load of people, maybe at 11, 12 or so, um, to say, uh, and one of the questions was, what would you, what magazine would you, you know, kind of buy for? And obviously most of it was one to two pounds, so I went with the lower end. And um, reason being I went with the lower end actually is because we're in uh, an unprecedented time with COVID. So obviously they want to be able to do their like main food shop, get their ex uh, main accessories, etc. So obviously to maybe put it at two pounds or something, there might be people who are trying to struggle with money at the moment. So putting it at the lower end of the one pound would be good. And also with the five. Uh, on the right hand side, as you can see, is the double page spread. Uh, as I said, picture chester, picture chester is going to be fit to the page, so it's going to, it's not going to go all the way out, but it's going to fit perfectly, so it looks professional. And obviously, picture of a new band, uh, so take a photo in an empty car park, abandoned place, ruins, whatever, and we'll go from there. As I said, mini calendar or a pixel artist, and just talk about how the new band, I suppose, is coming up to be a new. new number one single, how it's risen into Chester and people are becoming a bit aware of it. And this is, these are like, uh, so obviously as you've just seen, it was a digital version. This is kind of like maybe the print base or what it would actually look like from my drawings and sketches. So thank you. Does anyone have any questions? Um, first of all, Josh, thanks very much for coming in today to, uh, to Love Chester magazine right. and for delivering your pitch. And um, just to be clear, just on just some links to the kind of wireframes and your sketch at the end. Um, can you confirm just one more time what your genre magazine is? 
so my genre, let's just go back. My genre is, um, it's going to be rap, obviously with Stormzy being the main rapper, and a picture of a new band who might be interested in rap. Um, so yeah, the main genre is maybe that. Thanks for clarity, yeah, because just when you said a new band, I was kind of thinking indie, or when you mentioned about roots no, as well, because yeah. rap wouldn't normally be linked to... Well, that, it, that was one of the concerns, but I feel like they, there could be a new band out there who would do kind of rap, or maybe maybe not a band, but maybe like a, like a double would do a rap. Okay. Um, so we do have some um, questions as well, just linked to what we were um, linked to what you've already been through the presentation. But if you can just kind of elaborate on yeah, that's nice. some of those that you might have already said. So, how will you ensure your magazine appe appeals both to males and females? Um, so obviously, yeah, um, I didn't really, I don't think I've really mentioned it. Obviously, the um, gender is going to be male and female for both. Uh, I feel like with rap, it might be more associated with male, but you might get the odd few who odd females are actually. Do you know what, I like rap, I want to get into it. So I want there to be a perspective on both sides of it, and maybe get a female artist who does rap, that can maybe like, kind of relate to female audiences, and obviously with a male, there's loads of male raps, rap artists out there. Okay, and um, you mentioned that your magazine is going to be distributed both online and in print form. Um, can you think of a creative way where, obviously online it's going to be interactive, because it's, it's digital and it's on a website, or mobile phone app. Uh, on the print copy, which obviously is in a paper form, can you think of a creative way to make your magazine interactive? That um, at this current stage, I haven't found uh, I haven't found a way. But obviously, as time goes on before we make it, I will want to try and find a way because it will be unfair for the people who mainly go online versus the people who are just want to buy a print because it wouldn't be fair for them. So I am still working on it, but I am wanting and hoping to get around the situation. Okay. Um, do you believe your magazine will be more successful electronically or in print form? Um, as I said, I feel like it will be more, as I said obviously with uh, the technology world, uh, it's going to be, it, I feel like it will be more successful online because everybody has their phone on them, everybody has a, a laptop, uh, when you go into like a school, uh, like an IT type school, there's going to be loads of computers where you can have maybe five, ten minutes reading it. And um, obviously with a print, you would actually have to go out and buy it. And obviously with this current stage with COVID, it could be a bit tricky with lockdowns around the country and yeah. Okay, and um, just a few tips from us um, for your next days before you get to your pre-production. Um, we, we liked your idea about funding, how you've obviously got the other companies um, linked in locally as well for your funding, but um, I love Chester because Chester's quite a small area. We, would, we do normally kind of like to maybe try and associate, you know, four or five companies, even if they're small companies. So. We, went, we obviously you mentioned one in your presentation, but if you can try and look at the Chester area and look at other companies in particular who you might believe would be, um, they, they, they obviously don't give us an answer now, go away and research yeah. it, but it could be three or four quite small okay. companies yeah. that might want to, maybe a company that like was struggling during COVID, and they might want to re-advertise themselves in your magazine, yeah. and that would benefit obviously you both through synergy. Um, the second thing we we're going to mention was, in your audience site graphics, you mentioned Succeed, as you mentioned Aspire, as you mentioned one other area. Um, sometimes struggle is, is quite heavily linked to um, to rap, particularly because rap's about yeah. um, you know times of suffering and times of poverty or crime or in sometimes that was the nineteen eighties version of it. So if you could maybe think of how you can add in the, the people who you know struggle is particularly again at a time during a global pandemic, that might be a way that you could get that um, audience psychographic psych category in. Um, you mentioned Stormzy or you know an image of somebody like Stormzy on your magazine. We would rather you keep it local. So the, okay. the, the main protagonist on your front cover or your door page or band on door page spread or arts on door page spread, if you can try and keep it somebody much more new on the scene in the local area, we want to try, our, our main aim is to hit the market locally. Yeah. If that becomes successful, then we'll go nationwide. Yeah, yeah. okay, nice. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So thanks very much for coming today, Josh. No worries, thank and you. We, we look forward to working with you. Thank you, Norris.